If you believe everything you see online, you're going to fail at running an online business. Owning and running an online business can be extremely profitable, but the industry is full of misinformation and misconceptions. Most of what you see from online gurus is either highly curated to show you what you want to see, isn't based on long-term results, or is straight up wrong. Because social media is unregulated, there's nothing stopping these so-called gurus from making videos giving bad advice that could affect or even ruin your online business. From one online business owner to the next, I'm gonna tell you some of the biggest misconceptions about owning an online business, what's and all. And unlike some of the other online business content creators, I've run businesses. I've run successful online and brick and mortar businesses and helped run profitable marketing campaigns for both. So I'm going to tell you some of the biggest misconceptions about running an online business that I've experienced myself as an online business owner to help you avoid the huge mistake that could stand in the way of being a profitable long-term business. One of the biggest misconceptions that I see is people thinking they have enough experience right out of the box. Believe me, you don't. If you're a business owner running a brick and mortar store, you might think you've got a handle on how to run a business. And yes, while there are some transferable skills, it's a completely different game. It's like going from rollerblading to ice skating. The principle is the same, but the execution is completely different. I knew a guy that had a retail store and he wanted to convert this store into a completely online business. And he was over the moon. He thought he was going to save so much money by taking labor costs and rent out of the equation completely. But running an online business still has overheads. And six months down the line, he nearly went bankrupt because he assumed all the money he wasn't going to spend on self and rent was savings that could go straight into his pocket. Marketing is another great example. When your store is the first one you see going into a bigger shopping center in the area, foot traffic is going to be a heavy hitter for you. But running an online business is completely different. Marketing is one of the most important things you can do and you just can't treat them the same. Running an online business isn't the same as running a brick and mortar store. It's not easier or harder, it's just different. And if you want to be successful in the online space, you need to know that there are aspects of running a business that you're gonna to need to learn and changes you'll need to make. But it goes both ways because being internet literate doesn't automatically make you qualified to run an online business. And this happens more than you think. People see TikToks about dropshippers making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month from their bedrooms and they think because they grew up on social media, they are able to run an online business. But the truth is you still need to understand the basics of business and economics. If you've never heard of a balance sheet or you don't know what cash runway is, no amount of internet literacy is gonna help you. A great example of this is an 18 year old I know. They were a fantastic entrepreneur who really understood the way of the internet and how it worked and they had a runway success with an SMMA making over $60,000 a month. They had all the industry knowledge to be wildly successful and they were for about a year. But without any understanding of tax and financial allocation, they got smashed with a $150,000 tax bill they couldn't afford to pay. And you can guess how this story goes from there. Cutting expenses, cutting corners, and eventually not fulfilling the work they were paid for. In the end, they got sued by a large client and went bankrupt at the right old age of 19. And all of that comes from lacking the fundamentals of business. You can't just brush it off, thinking that because it's online, there's a different set of rules. There is one set of rules, and these rules are outlined by the government. And if you don't follow them, they don't care if your business is online, run out of a shopping center, or your bedroom. Speaking of online gurus, a good portion of them are guilty of spreading the lie that you'll make heaps of money fast. I'm sorry to be the one that has to break this to you, but that's not how it works. Otherwise, everyone under the age of 30 would be sipping my ties on the beach instead of working. Don't get me wrong, online businesses can be successful and some of them do generate revenue faster than others. But there's a huge misconception out there that the second you start your business, you're just gonna be rolling in the green. The fact is, depending on the business, it's going to take some time to generate profit. It could be weeks, it could be months, it could be even years. And that's not even taking into consideration the opportunity costs of being at home working on a business while you could be out there working in a traditional job. Of all of the misconceptions, this one is the most dangerous of them. As someone who runs a physical business and right now runs several online businesses, I can tell you that there's no guarantee you'll get rich and there's no guarantee you'll get rich quick. It just comes down to a lot of hard work dedication and business knowledge. And it's important to mention hard work because that's another huge misconception. 
that running an online business is easy and working a couple of hours a week is going to get your business off the ground. The simple fact is running an online business takes a lot of time and a huge amount of effort. And anyone who tells you that they can get rich by putting a few hours a week into an online business is full of shit. Of course, there's exceptions to the rule. There's always going to be people who have chosen the right product that found the right audience and blew up overnight. But that's not something you can aspire to. You can't go out there trying to blow up overnight. It takes time. In fact, sometimes it's going to take more time and effort than a standard nine to five job. At the start, you could be working 50, 60 or 70 hours a week. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people would prefer 60 hours at home than 40 hours in the office. And it does give you flexibility to live your life, especially if you have a family. But I want to reiterate this. You will clock a lot of hours running your online business, especially at the start. Of course, it's not just about you doing the work, which is another weird misconception I see a lot of people talk about. When you run an online business, there's a strange misconception that everything falls on you, but it doesn't. In fact, it really shouldn't. Like we've discussed, an online business is still a business. You won't have the skills to fulfill every role and you shouldn't be expected to. In a normal role, the person fulfilling orders isn't the same person that does the bookkeeping. And so why should that suddenly change when your business is online? Having an external person fulfilling different roles is going to take a huge amount of weight off your shoulders. Marketing, bookkeeping, delivery and fulfillment and social media, these are all jobs that online business owners think they have to do themselves but can easily be outsourced. And it doesn't mean you're now paying for someone's salary or superannuation. Getting someone trained to do a specific role for a few hours a week is going to save you time, effort, and money. And finding people to help has never been easier. With platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, and onlinejobs.ph, you're able to delegate different responsibilities so you can focus on your role as the owner of the business. I highly recommend you have a few different people you pay to help you run your business. A bookkeeper, a business planner or coach, and a financial advisor or accountant, and potentially someone to explain the legalities of running an online business. They may seem like expenses you can't afford, especially early on, but they're vitally important. Since we're talking about spending money to make money, let's address the elephant in the room. You're not starting or running an online business for free. It's true. You don't have the overheads that traditional brick and mortar businesses have, but you're not getting off without spending a bit of money. Starting an online business is going to cost you and maintaining it is going to cost you even more. Now, obviously, the type of online business you run is going to affect how much you're spending on starting and running it. For example, if you're running an e-commerce store where you physically hold products before you're sending them out, there's going to be more of an initial investment than say an SMMA. And don't get me wrong, on the whole, it's probably cheaper to start and run an online business than a brick and mortar business on average. But that's not to say you'll be spending nothing. Your marketing budget alone, especially early on, is going to be pretty significant. Again, online businesses aren't a license to print money. They aren't simple, and a lot of times they aren't easy. My advice is that you're gonna need some cash saved and be willing to invest it, especially to see your online business grow and succeed. And finally, one of the biggest misconceptions I see among TikTok creators and online gurus is the idea that once your business is making money, you can set it and forget it. This is literally one of the most damaging pieces of advice I see being circulated online. If you've put in the hours and your online business is finally starting to make serious money, you can take the time to celebrate, but that's it. Your online business making money isn't a sign it's time to unplug and hit the beach. Now more than ever, you need to keep working on your business and you need to be constantly looking at your ads, your analytics, and thinking about how you can improve your services or expand on the range of goods to pull in more customers. The more you do this, the better you'll get at it. And the more you can afford to relax and enjoy the fruits of your labor. But at the start, making good money isn't the end of the race. It's just the first leg of the marathon. All too often, I see people pull their first big paycheck and book a holiday, not knowing if the same paycheck is coming next month or whether they just got lucky that month. Now, knowledge is also half the battle and knowing about the biggest misconceptions in the industry is going to help you prepare for running a successful online business for years to come. And if this video has got you invigorated for running an online business, I'd recommend you check out the book Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's an excellent book that shaped the way thousands of successful business owners look at money, myself included. If you're interested in having a watch of that video and learning more about Rich Dad Poor Dad, you can watch that video here and I've also linked it in the description below. Thanks for watching guys and good luck.